name's Kelvin Rammer. I'm the driver of the Time Flies uh, Living the Dream Racing. And uh, this is Time Flies. We want to take a walk around it. We've got 26 inch nitrogen triple bypass shocks on the front. We've got a sheet metal front housing and uh, tethers on the front for safety. We have CRD knuckles, extra strength. Uh, what is that? Front steering, it's all hydraulic, and uh, we have a device here to lift it just in case we break it. We don't want to break it, but we push pretty hard sometimes, and that does happen. We run a standard monster truck tire. These are good years. They're 66 inches tall, 44 inches wide. And they, they cost actually, about? They're about 3, 000, a little over 3000 a piece for the tire. The rims are another 1500 bucks. We actually put them on a lathe and shave them down to get a little less tread. The bigger lugs grab pretty hard. We want about an inch or so of lug, and it gets rid of a, a couple hundred pounds of weight. Makes it a little easier to turn the tires. Custom tube chassis, there's nothing about these that actually are originally from a, a truck itself. Everything's custom made. The bodies are all fiberglass, lightweight, easy to repair. Um, the motors are something you find in a, a stock um, dragster, pro stock type. So it's mid-engine? Mid-engine for uh, best balance for flying. We run a, a two-speed power glide cone transmission, a quick change transfer case so we can pop the front off and change gear ratios for the different tracks. We have a longer track or shorter track. I run a 14 volt battery on this truck because I'm running the only truck in the world that has a full computer controlled fuel system and ignition system. There's a computer there behind the seat. Fully programmable, we pull our laptop, we create our own power curves, we can change the timing on each cylinder individually. We run an O2 sensor, uh, EGT sensor, MAP sensor, crank sensor, cam sensor, oil temperature, water temperature, all of them take it into the computer and the computer can make adjustments as we go along with the parameters that we set in it. So why so intricate? I, I'm, I don't leave things well enough alone. I like playing and doing things different. Just like our rear steer, something that we sold out of a, a low rider hydraulic system pressurized tank instead of the standard system makes the rear wheels go a little faster. We also take our 14 volts, double them, and get 28 volts to even push the motor faster to get a, a good fast response when we're out there driving. Uh, the rear end I run is something you'd find under a 5, 6 engine tractor pull, a little bigger than most all monster truck guys run. Because I had a problem racing and breaking ring and pinions. I've taken ring and pinions and take, turned the, the ring gear into four, five, six pieces. Twisted pinions off. Um, this particular rear end has been lasting really well for us. It's uh, quite a bit bigger than the F-106 that's standard in our industry. This uh, the housing we took out of a truck, a big truck, and we actually flanged it and trussed it and added a lot of uh, strength to it to be able to handle what we do. And then it's got a hydraulic rear steer. We got dual steer ramps, so it equally forces on uh, both sides. So it's all wheel drive, all wheel steering? Yes, and, and it's independent steer from the rear, front to rear. The rear is electric over hydraulic. You have a toggle switch you control the rear with. Then on the back, I'm sort of known for my wheelies. I've got a, a wheelie bar that's sort of independent on each side, a little different than most people, something that I prefer. Everybody's got their own preferences on what they do on design on the trucks, which makes us individuals. This is a hitch on the back, so if we get broken, we can actually put a receiver in there and a tractor will come up and hook it and pull us off track. Oh, I thought you were towing something yourself. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, one of those things we have we hope we don't use. Yeah. And what are these straps on here for? They're limiting straps. The shocks are not actually designed to hold themselves together at full length. So just before it hits full travel, the straps stop it so you don't pull the shocks apart. Okay. On the, like, unlike the front, the front we had 26, on the back we have 30 inches of travel, a little extra, and a little more weight in the back. Okay. And we use every bit of that 30 inches when we go flying. And I understand you have a daughter I, in the family yeah, that does my daughter, something similar? Ever since she was a little big enough, a little flashlight would follow me around. Now she's got her own truck, and there isn't a thing she can't fix on these trucks. So let's Motors, go, let's go look at her truck. truck here. Whose truck is this? This is my daughter's truck. She grew up driving around in them, and when she was age 11, she started driving them in and out of the trailer around the pits. At age 14, we went out and bought her own seat and all the safety gear that fit her exactly, and she started performing. And we built this truck for her, and when she turned 16, she actually designed this particular wrap, paint job, name, color scheme, and everything, and she's been out running this one. Uh, it's pretty much the base of what we have on both trucks, the 26-inch uh, triple bypass on the front, 30-inch triple bypass on the rear, the sheet metal front housing, the, the dual steering rams in the front, all the aftermarket parts to be able to jump and, and let it fly. She likes putting it 30 feet in the air. She thinks it's fun. She also thinks rolling is fun, but I'm trying to tell her it's not, but she doesn't <laughs> believe me. Um, 
One advantage she does have over me is she's got the Ukraine tires. These particular tires are the best in the industry as far as the, the size of the lug. They seem to dig and, and get a lot more traction than the Goodyears and some of the other tires that are out there. Can we take a look inside? Yeah. down about three inches. What's that? Leave it down about three inches. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. How much do they weigh? We weigh about 10.5 ready to raise all fueled up person in it. And how fast can we go? We gear them. Um, the biggest track we usually go on, you'll top of 70 miles an hour. With these, it's not so much the um, top speed in but the g-forces our computers show us two three g's of acceleration at times and it's, it's an excel you know as far as a, a sports car i'd go up against a sports car for the first hundred feet they're, they're extremely fast off the line and great traction yes depending on the other type of traction the material you're on and which tires you have um yeah very good traction so for both trucks any sponsors you'd like to mention um, Auto Care Towing out of Watsonville, California. And uh, social media, website, Facebook, anything? Uh, there is a Facebook, uh, Living the Dream Racing, um, auto, and Auto Care Towing. I understand you have the biggest tow truck in the world. Yeah, we've got a, what they call a HEM. It's an NRC 80-ton rotator. Boom goes 55 feet in the air. We reach out 40 feet. And to me, it's it's just as big of a toy as one of these. And I, I get the same adrenaline rush playing with it. Um, we do a wide variety of things. I do uh, yacht recoveries. I've done up to a 75-foot ship we've drug up on shore. We do 40-foot uh, sailboats quite often. They get run up on, on shore. We'll lift them out of the water and set them up on trailers. And we also... Um, do a lot of lifting of different things. Uh, I did a 35,000 pound blade for a tallow company last week. Uh, we just all kind, anything you can think of that's heavy, we do. And then we also do the regular accidents and recoveries and we play a lot up in the hills. We've got a skid steer with 20,000 pound winch attachment that we uh, use up in the hills for custom recoveries where regular tow trucks can't go. It, they're all big toys to me. I, I've never grown up. <laughs> <laughs> so contact information for the towing company. It's Auto Care Towing, Watsonville, California. The phone number is 831-728-0384.